What's happening, folks? And welcome to another episode of Act Let's Play. If you're enjoying this series, and I hope you are, hit the like button down below and subscribe if you're new. And I hope, more importantly, you're having a good day if you are. Good. If you're not, that hopefully this video helps with that issue. I have bad days as well. At this morning time at work and making me do for you guys does seem to help me quite a lot. So hopefully the same goes for you watching it. Down below are the usual links to Discord and Twitch. Twitch channel we stream on Saturdays, Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday and Friday with the odd Sunday stream when things line up with Mars and that kind of thing. Um, so today is a Dutch Cut semi-final against AZ Altmar and we're going to show the game in its entirety because it's a one-off um, game that's kind of important so that's the way we do things on the channel in case you're new. Also, new feature, not new feature, a new thing, when we get to a Cup final, if and if, when we do so again, I'll be doing it in 3D with a suit on. So that's my compromise in terms of the 3D not being on the coin anymore. So, but one game of camera since you left with me, we beat um, Braid of 5 2. We were, it was a crazy game actually because we went 2 0 up in this game. Then they came back. It was the penalty before all that happened as well. Then a couple of late, a late goal from Leo Hawk and Rayner got 2 as well. Crazy game. Um, Could have gone. Any either way, uh, after uh, during the first half, but then the second half we got, got more control over it. But Hakim Guba is uh, starting to worry me a little bit. I'm watching him playing, and he's he's just not quite on it. Hopefully today he can make a difference and do, you know, well for us today because Antonio Carlos is still not fully fit, and I don't want him playing. I'm not going to play him in this game and risk him getting a massive injury going to the next match. So let's get into the action, shall we, folks? And see how we get on today. Hopefully, it's a win and a cup final because we're going to win the league, so we're guaranteed one trophy already at least. But I like to get to cup final because the Arsenal game in Champions League is not looking good for us. Um, if we play our game, good. Yeah, good. Can we? Can we? We left. We left off because they did play well in the last game, and hopefully, um, we can win today. So, yeah, folks. Um, you, what say? What say you? You currently doing at the moment, guys? I'm always curious to see what people are doing. Salah on the left hand side, going all the way here. I can go back, and that kind of sums him up, really. Just snatching at things at the moment um, when he gets in those areas. Uh, he's getting chances, but Bacano over the bar. He's getting chances, is um, Hakim, um, but he's just... I can go go get Gouda, whatever his name is. I can't I'm not sure how to pronounce it, really. But he's just snatching at stuff. Hopefully he can score a goal today. Um, that will just get him going, maybe. But, of course, when Antonio Carlos is fit, he will be starting in these live comms. Um, in, in these games, but I do feel like maybe in the league, if we were to get through to the next round, I may I may start rotating. One day it's Carlos, one game it's Carlos, next game it's um, you know the youngster, and just to see if that helps him out a bit. Because right now I'm I'm not sure if he's going to make it. Great through on goal, nearly, but I'm sure that that Gwilett's going to make it because he is playing amazingly well this season, and it may be a case of we move on Gnabry. Um, in the summer and maybe get another another, another young right winger in. I don't know. I have to see what... That's a penalty. That's a penalty. That has to be a penalty, surely, isn't it? I'm pretty certain it was in the penalty area there. Are they going to give it, though? That is the question. Hopefully he will. We started real, really well in this game. I'd love to get a penalty again, again early on in the game. Try and emphasise the... Really? Outside the box... I glancing view, I thought it was inside the penalty area. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie to you, I thought it was inside the penalty area. But we've still got a good chance to get a good ball in the box here. And his options down seen he's gonna go for goal, you know he's not. Yeah, I think he, it's okay going for the far post there, but I think you've got to loft it in a bit more. It looked like from least from the way I looked at it was he fizzed that in. Well I guess I can control. He's got space down left inside the place two. Salah there. Salah. Unavar. I can shake. Oh, what a save. Again, good strong start. Just again, this is kind of what our game's been going like recently. Dominating most teams. And just that first goal has been so critical for us. Unvar. I was going to shoot there. Ronald. Okay. Um, I'm guessing I could give him benefit of the doubt. It was a good good line from AZ there. But I think he's way a bit. I wonder if he way a bit longer there. If he could have got a better ball um, in the box there. Dest. Keeps going. Finds Mina. Univar, it's it. Domination so far. I'm just going to tell him to, to demand more just to, just to try and get a bit of reaction out of it. But I'm liking how we're playing here so far. It's going really well. The danger I've I, I've got is 
will they just get their first chance and do an FM on us? Which hopefully they won't do that. Um, but, oh God, don't let him get through there. And that is the one thing we're starting to do a little bit more. We've not been as solid, solid at the back. Let's go play games. Hopefully it's just the fact we're playing against decent teams and maybe the hangover in the last game from the Arsenal match. And here comes the speed still on the right-hand side. He's got two men on him, but... You know, tell you what, I want to see where... I want to have a look. No, not that. No, not that either. What the hell am I doing? Okay, he's the left winger, isn't he? Okay, I was going to say, if he's the, if, if, he, if he was the right, left back, I'd focus on that side a lot and try and isolate him. I could, I could look on there, couldn't I, really? Brain not working right. Um, so, I, I don't know if I need to change anything this show. I'm going to say, get creative. And hopefully we can find something in this first half. But it's a very even game on possession. Uh, but chances-wise, we're definitely edging it. Ronald, with space, finds me in the penalty area. And I think he's just got maybe caught underneath it slightly there, maybe. But this is a really good performance in the first half. He's just missing the goal. Now, we know what's going to happen based on how we've been performing in this game so far. And it nearly happened there. I do think we've got a problem with the striker, with Hakim. He's just not... Off right. We're going to change one thing at half time. We're going to say aggressive. Not happy with this. And we're going to go for more direct passes and more bo balls in the box. And see if that makes difference. It's not a massive change in our style because it, it, it's what I I prefer. But I didn't like the fact we were not putting... The, I, I turned it off, this these instructions, because I didn't think they were doing the balls in the box enough. So... Hopefully, okay, two guys causing the keeper down, which is interesting. But we're just so dominant. It's just one bit of quality. He's in. I can go score here, surely. And he's outside anyway. Um, oh, well, no, he's not. That's a oh, that's a big chance, that, for him. I thought it was offside. I thought it was one of those where the keeper saved it, but he was actually offside. But this is... He wasn't dest. I may take him off, actually. If he's on a yellow card, isn't he? So much. So the Bacano. But Hakim's got to score that. Do you guys make a lot of mistakes today? I wouldn't say that. I've not seen anything that would indicate he made a lot of mistakes. It's solid on the left hand side. Under the base base. Runs towards net. Mina shoots. It's one of those games where we don't look like conceding the goal massively on the other occasion, but we don't like really scoring one when we go forward. It's great on the right hand side. Beats his man. I can go back against blocked. It's not the same player, is it, as the other two strikers of this season? Um, again, maybe he's, he, needs, he needs more game time. And maybe he needs, to, he needs a bit more work on certain aspects in training. Um, I may look at that, maybe look at his composure and stuff like that and, and just work on his finishing. Um, his movement's great. I like his movement. When he gets the ball, he can hold up quite well. But his last bit in the six-yard box, or John Pelinche, he's just not quite there. But then again, maybe more games will help with that. Let's go more attacking. And just, again, demand more. To be more creativity. We, any creativity would be, would be a start. And, right, we're going to make a change. Because I don't think Jarek's done that much. We're going to bring Rainer on. And... I'm going to bring on... Partey as well. Just for freshness, really. And see what happens. Partey can knock a banger in. Um, and as, we, as we've seen many times. So I think do it again today, but I've got a scary feeling that they're going to get one on this on this attack. Maybe actually, that should not have gone in the back of the net. We should have stopped that. But again, I do feel like Hakim is starting to annoy me. Just bring him down here. Bring him, not, bring him down here. Look, bring him down. Just let him walk past him. Then walk past him again, and the keeper's not. It's just not good enough, is it, boys? It's just not good enough. Who is that guy anyway? Because he's got 22 goals this season. Oh, right. Look at him. He's he's doing all right. But yeah, I do feel like it's a striker that's the issue in this particular game. Against top teams, he's struggling. And that could be it, boys. I don't think we're going to get through this tie. I think the season's practically over, really, um, if we don't win this. Uh, let's go very attacking. Just go re go right. We've got to go for it. That chance he had in early in the second half is big. 
But this is the winner. Can he find the easy on goal? Can he finish it? Blocked again. It just feels like the... Okay. I was thinking this other day, actually. I've not seen the goalkeeper do this, ever. Never seen it. Not seen it happen. Um, in any of my games on FM this year. Now we are. He's in the penalty. If he scores now, it's insane. Rainer hits it. Blocked. Oh, it's just not happening, is it? Think if Rainer couldn't find post. Can I breathe? He's equalised. Oh, no, he's not. no, he hasn't. Oh, it's one of those games again. Just the lack of, the lack of cutting edge. Oh, dear. Quickly, we've got like 20 sec 30 seconds, dudes. Get it up, get it, get it up there, Bucano. Dest on the right hand side. That's poor. Cross it in, dudes. I've got to put one on the box, and we're not doing it here. Get the pump it forward, boys. There we go. Is that the right idea? I think were, but he used to do what I told him to do. I can fix it on. Party shoots and it. Yeah, I think we've got a problem with that, without without Antonio Carlos. So much domination, didn't take our chances when if when we actually got them. And yeah, too many players seem to be off the ball. I mean, the Ben Hag, even the last game, um, we didn't play, we were too up in it and got slack. But that goal's so poor. Someone's got to just put a body check in there and stop him. And it's the fact that they didn't walk past him. Now, that, I think that's down to the, like we said before, um, the lack of physicality in this game, which is the big issue with the feeding match engine I don't like um, is the fact that guys just run and then one just stops rather than actually fight for the ball. That would be, If I saw that, it wouldn't, wouldn't be as bad. I've just been beaten by a bit of strength there. But yeah, that's um, eight games without finding the net now for him. Um, he needs to step it up. And I'm just going to discipline him but also talk to him. Uh, one player, recent form. Um... But I have faith in you to get back to the goal scoring way. So, next episode, let's have a look what's coming up. Well, we're going to do the second leg against Arsenal. And then after that, we'll have to wait and see. But yeah, not a great run of form. Even the Brader game, we weren't amazing in it. But I think it's still be down to the fact that that's been the one glitch. But a decent team, I think he's not good enough up front. Hopefully he'll get um, get going again. I think he may be down to, down to morale issues, but we'll look at his training here. <coughs> Excuse me. And just additional focus. Work on his shooting, and he's going to have um, double intensity. We're going. I know it's not it's my idea, but I'm really going to work on it and just be better at it. So, um, like I said, next episode will be the Arsenal game in the Champions League. I'll see you for that. If you enjoyed the video, and I hope you have, hit the like button down below and subscribe if you're new as well. Don't forget to check out all the links down below to the social social media and my Discord and my Twitch channel, which is on which is live on usually on Saturdays, Tuesdays, and Fridays, barring work or commitments. I'll see you next time, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.